Big budget videos aren't the only way to sell a group. Very often, directors are constrained by small budgets and tight time schedules when they make videos. Tim Pope has made many which have relied on ingenuity and imagination instead of gloss and fancy locations. See, I don't think pop music is about commercials because a, a lot of them, you know, these days, if you're looking at something subjectively, I don't think that's what pop promos should be. That's a big difference. I think they should be subjective films, you know. Uh, basically, a lot of pop songs say, I do this, I do that, and I think that's what the film should say. It should go with the, you know, their, the argument of the people who are in the film. The first real one I've made was Bedsitter for Soft Cell, and I was really fortunate because it sort of went out on top of the pops and everything, so it was quite sort of fortunate, and the single did well. And it, it was a very difficult time then, because at that point there were about, I think, only about six other video directors at that point existing in the world. So I sort of came along, and they were all making, it was just after Vienna, had, I think, had been made. So everyone at that point was making sort of sub-feature film sort of things. And I, I basically came along and said, I don't want to do that sort of thing. And it, all the record companies said, well, you've got to do that sort of thing. And I said, no, I'm not going to. So I actually did like 90 storyboards before anyone ever, everyone thinks it's easy getting your first one. I did something like 90 before they let me do my first thing. And um, then I did bed sitter, and then it sort of took off from there. I shoot primers very basically. I, like if you look at the way people shot um, films in the early days of film, I used to have a little box with a hole on the front, as I say, and you'd shoot a wide shot, and then all I do is pick it up, shove it on my shoulder, move it in for a close up, and that's my close up. I don't sort of zoom in on a zoom lens or anything, and it's a, therefore it makes it a lot more direct. You see, which I think a lot of a lot of promos are shot like American sort of feature films, and I don't think that's good. Loads of long lenses and things like that. I don't necessarily like that. I personally like very close contact with videos. I think that much of a face is far stronger than seeing someone in a crowd acting out a part or something. I think there's no such thing as someone, only certain people looking good in pictures or in film. I think that's uh, probably laziness on the part of the cameraman or the director. I think ev everyone's face is very exciting if it's taken in the right angle. You see, the sort of bands I work with, like The Cure and Talk Talk and all those sort of bands, they don't mind being seen how they are. And we always show them how they are. I can't really talk about other people's work. I just know that I happen to work with people who don't mind being shown. That if they've got a spot there, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think, you know, you should put massive cheekbones on somebody if they haven't got them or to dye their hair. I mean, I heard of a promo, someone, uh, I, think it, I think it was Wham, or someone shot a promo and basically didn't like the colour of his hair, so they had to reshoot it. I mean, you know, it's not, not important, really. I don't think it's that important. I think if people look truth, if they look basic and truthful in a way, I think that, that ironically, again, is a better way of selling a record. I think it's a lot more direct.